Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to put a barrel on your Nerf Joel. Alrighty, this is my first ever try of doing this. Uh, I think I'll do a lot more videos here, so you might as well get used to the dirty gray table. But first, in our step, I'm going to just grab a normal barrel, stick it in, figure out which way is right side up. So I know that I need to place it with the line facing to the right. So I'll take my little barrel out and figure out a way to harness and attach this barrel to my jolt. I scrapped this barrel from my uh, Battle Camo Battle Scout. A great weapon, it recently broke. A screw and the plastic, it literally just like chose not to live anymore. But anyway, I think I also might scrap the stock attachment. So that might be coming out later on how to add a stock to your jolt. But what I'm going to do is I want to remove this part right here. I just want this little barrel attachment. It fits pretty good right like this. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to saw this part, this little place off. So then it will just be the barrel so I can stick it in. Just like a normal Nerf gun. Because this is the part that's inside the Nerf gun. You never see this. So I think what I am going to do is put this in my vise and saw this little part off. And what you want to do... It, if I'm correct, I'm 90% stupid and 30% smart, is you want the blade with the most little ridges. This one has a lot. And if you want to, like, cut wood, then you get the big ones with the big space in the middle. But don't take my word for it. Like I said, I'm 90% dumb and 30% smart. All right, let me saw that off. Alrighty, I finished cutting off that little part. Uh, I actually cut it twice. I cut it once to see if it would work, and then I also cut that little sliver off uh, to finally get it to this this point. So, you always want to measure once, cut twice. So, I'm here, and I'm going to sand this part down just to make it pretty smooth. I have some 220 grit sandpaper and I'm just gonna do this alrighty I have finished sanding it the uh, the back and the outside it feels pretty smooth with just the 220 I even washed it down just to make it a little cleaner and less dusty and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue this front part to the jolt and I have finished the jolt and look at this sure it does look really funny but once you put in the dart you can see it's loaded there if you don't want to look down the barrel it's pretty pretty straight you can prime it and put your favorite barrel on this you could put Maybe just go simple. Go for a small barrel. Still pretty cool. Or maybe you want kind of kind of to be flashy. You can put a silencer on it to make the jolt even silencer. I mean quieter. That's not a word. Whew. Uh that is what you should not do is you should unplug your hot glue gun and be careful for it. Because it is very hot. Alrighty, there we got the silencer. Or, my personal favorite. You can take this off. And put your retaliator barrel on that. And look at this. This is crazy looking. Like, have you ever seen that before on YouTube? Let's put that grip on there. Still my favorite grip, even though I only have two grips. And like, look at that. First ever 
Retaliator, Handle, Grip, Jolt mod on YouTube that I know of. So I think that's a first. I'm really proud of it. Uh, it probably still goes only like five feet, but uh, yeah, that's the thing. The only way to deep prime the bastard is to take the dart out, but I don't have long fingers, so I guess I just have to shoot it now. That barely went out the barrel. That was sad. But, it doesn't matter if it goes far. Wait, it actually does. Never mind. Does it... You know what? That doesn't matter. It looks cool. It's a way to Im intimidate your enemies. And, you could just have your normal jolt whenever you want. So, I think that will wrap it up. Thank you for watching.